Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about my experience dating a Gemini man. So I know I told you guys I would do this video in my Venus and Gemini natal video. If you guys haven't checked it out already, please go check it out. And here we go. So dating a Gemini man. Okay, so this was an interesting one because not only is he a Gemini son, he's also a Venus and Gemini. Like I was saying in my Venus and Gemini video, and not only that, I also said in my Venus and Gemini video that I met him at a time where I was going through a lot. I was very depressed and a lot of changes were going on with me. It was just a lot going on. So he came at random. I didn't expect this, but when I look back, a lot of transits were happening in my fourth and my fifth house at the time. So anytime you have fifth house transits, that could activate a romance. So a little bit about what transpired when I met him. So basically, I was working a night shift, I was closing, and um, I took an Uber. And ironically, since he's a Venus in Gemini, he works for Uber, he does Uber driving. So that's very much so Gemini, where you use like little apps like Uber to deliver food or pick up people and do like, kind of like a taxi kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? So, and Gemini, they're about transportation and um, going from place to place and interacting with people. That's a lot of the reason why he did Uber because he liked to meet different people and socialize because he's a Gemini, right? So he was my Uber driver, he picked me up and I was like, ooh, man, he's like, he's fine, fine. Like he had the hippie look and everything, like the long hair, he had like this cool hat and um, he had like this dimple, he had like a cute smile and uh, he's just, he's just beautiful. Like, oh my gosh. I have Venus in the ninth house, so I like my men foreign okay and he's south american he sounded like a frat boy but he speaks perfect spanish like it's crazy but he's just absolutely gorgeous he was just oh my god so i'm like man he's like fine like i'm gonna try to holla at him or whatever right i'm gonna try to see if i could get the digits so i was flirting with him and um you know we were talking getting to know each other and you know i was telling him my interests and stuff how i'm interested in astrology and things like that he was like telling me his big three so his big three is gemini sun aquarius moon and aries rising and i'm like damn he dropped the big three on me i'm like Ooh, i like that so he kind of spoke my language and he kind of understood it even though he wasn't deeply into astrology but he knew about how in astrology you're more than just your sun sign and how you have a moon sign a venus sign a mars sign and all that stuff right so i thought that was pretty cool that he knew about this stuff and i'm not surprised he would know because gemini's they tend to open their mind to a lot of things even if they're not deeply into it but they tend to know a lot of things so i'm not surprised that he knew about it so I thought that was pretty freaking cool. We were like talking and getting to know each other or whatever. And by the time he dropped me off, like we exchanged numbers. Cause I'm like, yes, I'm gonna get the digits. And I got the digits. So I was like super freaking happy. And he actually invited me to like one of his get togethers. And he wanted to like invite me to his house. Not, not to do anything like freaky or anything like that. Like he just wanted to spend time with me and he wanted to introduce me to all his friends and his roommates. So I'm like, cool, okay, bet. So I was like, and then he was like, you know, I'll hit you up tomorrow or whatever, and I'll pick you up or whatever. I was like, all right, don't flake on me, Gemini, because you know Geminis, they like to be flaking on people. So, but the next day he hit me up like at nighttime or whatever, and he didn't flake on me. He's like, oh, you know, I'll pick you up or whatever. And, you know, I'll be there in a few. So, yada, yada, yada. And whatever, he picked me up. And um, he took me to his house. I met all his friends and his roommates. And it was like a pretty chill time. We were all like just vibing or whatever. And we actually took a walk outside. 
in his neighborhood and you know we had like a little romantic moment we held hands and ah oh my gosh so you know it was just more getting to know each other and stuff and like just interacting like that's something about venus and gemini and that's something that i said in my gemini videos that they just like to interact with people they just like to converse with people get to know people i wanted to include some of the synastry that we have going on so i think my favorite one was how his son fell in my fourth house so not only was the son transiting my fourth house his son also fell in my fourth house and i was like oh no wonder why we click so well because in synastry when somebody's planets fall into your fourth house that indicates like a soulmate especially if it's the sun because the sun is the spirit it's the moon is more soul to soul but you could use that interchangeably where um really the fourth house would indicate the soul and you know the sun would indicate just that person's being lighting up your soul shining a light on a lot of aspects of yourself that were laying dormant and now they're coming out really like that his son fell into my fourth house and also his venus fell in my fifth house so i thought that was pretty dope too which could indicate that light-hearted feeling that i felt with him because my experience personally dating a gemini man i i had a positive experience i would say and i would say this because again i think he gave me exactly what i needed i needed balance at the time my life was very much so out of balance and it was just very chaotic and when i was with him i just felt like everything was just okay everything felt normal and everything just felt fun and enjoyable he was just my sense of enjoyment that I got every once in a while and I thought that was nice to have. The North Node was activating my fourth house. There was a cluster of Gemini planets in my fourth house and fifth house at the time that really activated like a soulmate romance kind of thing going on. And I really enjoyed that because it really lit up my life basically. And it really gave me that spark back that I've been missing. You know, that zest for life, that spark for life, that curiosity for life. He really helped me with my social skills because naturally I'm a very quiet and shy kind of person, very secretive, you know, with that Plutonian shit that I got going on. It makes me very private. So he really brought out a little bit more of the extrovert in me. I'm not saying that I had to be extra, but I just felt very comfortable just being social and just having normal conversation it could be about anything not only like philosophy or astrology or things like that just normal everyday conversation you know what i'm saying so it really helped me with my social skills which i did appreciate that about him we just shared a lot of intimate secrets with each other a lot of intimate feelings with each other and that's because of the fourth house sinistry and another thing i found us doing a lot is when we did spend time together it would just be very private and also we would just hang out at his house a lot and that's very fourth house sinistry as well so we would just do a lot of cuddling watching movies you know things like that so i really enjoyed doing that with him he also reactivated my maiden energy because my maiden energy was like out of commission for for a minute I will say that because of everything that was going on but when he came around it's like he reactivated that and not only that he's a Gemini so he's ruled by Mercury I'm a Virgo so I'm also ruled by Mercury and Mercury energy it's very maiden like energy very youthful energy and it was so weird because I'm the divine feminine of Mercury and then he's the divine masculine of Mercury so I just felt like that also played a part to where we really we really synced well with each other and i really like that basically we just kept seeing each other after that and we just spent time with each other we would just share a lot about each other and even our family life that's very sun in the fourth house sinistry where you guys really share a lot of your family experiences and you guys could also find that you guys have very similar 
family experiences as well. Um, and like I said, we just had like this soul connection. Like we would think about each other and then it's like one of us would like call or like text and it's like, oh man, I was like just thinking about you. Like even recently, I was, I was walking and I was like thinking about this exact video, right? And then as soon as I turned the corner, boom, there he was. I'm like, and I texted him. I was like, yo, I just seen you. And I was just thinking about you. And he's like, wow, like what is the chance that, you know, we kind of passed each other. He didn't notice me, but I noticed him because he was driving. Um, so he wasn't, he kind of like quickly looked my way, but he didn't recognize it was me. But I told him that I seen him and it just made me happy. And mind you, this was recently and I haven't seen him in months. And so that was like the first time in months that I had seen him again. So it really just lit me up again. Like all I had to do was just see him and I was good. I know everybody's experience is going to be different, but I would say I personally enjoyed dating a Gemini man because I feel like it gave me that balance because to be honest I'm a Plutonian person and the Plutonian path could be pretty rough and it could be pretty grim and also I have Saturn in the first house so that could be pretty rough so I brought that balance back in a sense like he brought back the fun and lightheartedness in my life and that sense of adventure at the time where I wasn't getting a lot of that with a lot of what I was going through and it was just nice to have a little bit of that lighthearted energy back into my life to kind of keep my spirits up. So I really did appreciate that about him and he really just reawakened. I feel like he really helped. I feel like he came to help assist in reawakening my soul and really pushing me to go after my soul's calling i know it sounds weird because it's like this was like a romance but people come into your life especially this guy in particular this was very faded because the north node was involved in this to where he came to re he came to remind me of my calling and to really push me and really reignite that that passion within me to just keep going in life and to remind me like don't give up like it's okay basically so that is basically the gist of the whole video um i would say our relationship now didn't work out nothing like it didn't end bad it just it just didn't work out and i think he came for the exact purpose that he came for and that was it that's perfectly fine with me i mean we are still friends but you know we kind of are in different places right now but hopefully we could reconnect again so because i really like him so that is all i have for this video on my experience dating a gemini man i hope you guys enjoyed this if you guys have any questions or comments leave them down below and if you have dated a gemini let me know down below i want to hear all about it please like and share this video please subscribe to my channel and if you guys are interested in booking a reading with me you can find my services on etsy my etsy shop is cosmic star astrology and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys